Okay. Slide. slide over a little bit. I should have known. I should have known <laughs> something like this. My mom wrote this. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, here we go. Dear Shreya, our googie, our munchkin, our pumpkin muffin. We were taught that pride is one of the seven deadly sins, but there isn't a better word or sentiment to describe how we feel about you at this moment. I write this letter today to express how very proud I am of you in general, but also for your choice to embark on a creative writing major with a double minor in screenwriting and theater. To pursue a BA in law, history, and culture, and a minor in gender and sexuality studies. I will never forget that Sunday morning when you ran downstairs screaming that you were accepted to USC Dornside College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences, majoring in English Literature. Julian, you have been delighting us since the day you were born. First with your infectious giggle and noisy banter as a baby, then your curiosity and voracious love of learning as a child. It doesn't seem long ago that I was consoling a hysterically solving five-year-old who was furious with his little brother for creating a road out of his periodic table cards. <laughs> I remember that you were screaming that the lanthanides couldn't be mixed up with the halogens, and you were very perturbed that with a sudden sweep of the hands, all of the pristine order you had meticulously created had been turned into sudden chaos. You took all of our hearts with you when you left Florida and ventured to Los Angeles for your first semester in 2020. Being a California native but raised in Texas, it only took a minute to feel comfortable with the Los Angeles lifestyle. You've always followed your inner compass. You have never deferred to anyone else's expectations of you, and you're probably the smartest person in our family. Shh, don't tell your UCLA Bruin sister. She can figure it. Now there are dozens of things I could talk about here. I know that. And it's been a challenge. Woo. Sorry. To think of just the right way to explain what I am feeling as a mom watching my only child graduate. You have most certainly blossomed academically, socially, and spiritually over the past four years. Your experiences both inside and outside of the classroom enabled you to become a confident, educated, and socially conscious young adult. Yes, we could talk about all your academic achievements. What we are happiest about is the well-rounded, thoughtful, service-oriented, resilient, and super fun woman you have continued to become, and that you are forever more a Trojan. How you have grown and evolved, my beautiful, beautiful girl. You are grounded. You have found purpose. You know who you are and what you want. I'm sure you remember that evening you had me read an article from one of your classes. I asked you, where is this from? I assumed it was required reading, but to my astonishment, you said, I wrote it. I'm not sure if you noticed how I was looking at you. I thought to myself, my daughter created this? You finished your incredibly impressive debate career in the top four teams in the nation. Most importantly, you achieved every single goal you set for yourself, and you learned along the way that while winning is a feeling that is hard to beat, enjoying what you do and being a kind and well-respected human is even better. You are graduating from a special place and a place that has given you extended family you will always be able to count on. And not the kind of family that embarrasses you at Thanksgiving dinner, but a smart, generous, service-oriented, kind, and connected family that will always have your back. Congratulations, Alex, and fight on. Love, Mom and Dad. Love, Mom and Dad. Your mom that loves you to the moon and back. Fight on, Mom and Dad. Love you, my lucky bug. The family is so immensely proud of you. My love to you infinitely, Mom. Sweet. I'm shocked. <laughs> That's so beautiful. This will be second to the degree itself. <laughs>